Good morning, everyone. So this half term, we're talking about kindness and our value this week is I use kind words. So to start with, here's a question for you. How are words like toothpaste? Let's think about what might be some mean or unkind things to say. Maybe I hate you. You look silly. You are so stupid. You can't do anything. Idiot. Go away. Now have a think. How do you feel if someone says those words to you? You might feel upset, sad, angry. Maybe you don't want to be friends with the person who said them. Now think again. Have you ever said any words like that to anyone? So back to the question about the toothpaste. How are words like toothpaste? Well, when you squeeze out toothpaste out of a tube, you can't put it back in. And words are the same. Once you've said something unkind, it can't be undone. It can't be put back. It might be forgiven, but it might not be forgotten. Sometimes people use words to put other people down, often to try and make themselves look good or feel better, but that doesn't actually work. To feel good, be good, do the right thing. Strong people don't put others down, they lift them up. So I've got a short story about two frogs. A group of frogs were travelling through the woods and two of them fell into a deep hole. When the other frogs saw how deep the hole was, they told the pair that they were as good as dead. The two frogs ignored the comments and tried to jump out, but the other frogs kept telling them to stop. They'd never get out. They might as well just stay there and die. They were as good as dead anyway. Finally, one of the frogs listened to the others and gave up. He fell down and died. But the other frog kept jumping as hard and as high as he could. Once again, the other frog yelled at him to stop and just wait and die in peace. He jumped even harder and higher until finally he made it out. The other frogs were astonished and said, didn't you hear us? The frog explained that he was quite deaf and he thought that they were encouraging him the whole time. He thought that they were speaking encouraging words and that gave him the strength to keep going. But the frog who heard the negative words gave up. That shows you how you can help somebody by speaking kind words and you can make a difference. Your word, the words that you speak do make a difference to other people. So let's think of some examples of kind things to say. Maybe a compliment, I like your jacket. Please, thank you. That's a great idea. Well done. You're good at that. You make me smile. Let's share. Can I help you? You're a good friend. I'm sure that you can think of lots more examples of kind things to say. And that's what you need to do. So thank you for listening and remember to use kind words.